Have you stopped and think if what you do is sustainable or not? I imagine that everyone here has already heard the term sustainability. Those people who talk about the sustainable development have sold us the idea that sustainability is the path of achieving and taking care of our environment and at the same time develop as a society. Basically, managing our natural resources so that future generations can continue to enjoy them. This idea sounds fantastic and it gives humanity hope that life will continue to be prosperous and rich. But have you and I, more than anyone in the world, I'm in favor of this process, of this process. But have you asked yourselves if this sustainable system has already be been talked all around the world and countries have known this, then why most nations haven't implemented it? You see, for a large society as Mexico or the United States to achieve sustainable development is going to be very difficult. Sustainability is not what it seems. And believe me, this is said by someone who wants to study development, sustainable development engineering. Do you remember the question that I asked at, at the beginning? Well, let me tell you that almost everything that surrounds us, what we consume and what we use, was made in an unsustainable way. In an unsustainable way. Unfortunately, almost everything that man makes contaminates. Everything that reaches to our hands was made through a huge and large and complex change. Let me give an example. Just for this shirt to reach my hands, it has already passed through a huge complex, through a huge and large process. First, the cotton was collected in some farm from Africa, America, or, or Asia. Later, the cotton would be taken to factories so that it could be processed and turned into cloth. For this process, only 10 million machines, only 10 machines were used and millions of tons of water were needed. Because apart from that, 2,700 2, liters of water are used only to make a shirt. Apart from that, which contains also chemical and toxic wastes that end up in rivers and oceans. Once it was turned into cloth, it is sent to other factories, which also generates another big problem, labor exploitation. So sorry, labor exploitation. For 4.5 million people work in this process, who, by the way, have extremely low salaries. They are in charge of spinning the fabric and turning it into cloths, so that they are finally transported and sold to other countries. This process gives cotton a huge carbon footprint. I can continue with more examples, such as the food we consume, the light bulbs and lights we use, the cars we drive, we drive in, and the materials of the house we live in. And the, the list can, goes on, can go on and on and looks endless. Obviously, several changes and solutions have already been implemented. And countries such as Switzerland, Germany, and Austria were the first ones to become sustainable. And they are setting a great example to other nations around the world by showing them that change is possible that sustainable can be achieved. The thing is that the great nations have not implemented the sustainable plan because they, ha they have companies that are not willing to spend more money on taking care of the environment. All companies want money. So any activity that doesn't generate profit does not interest them at all. But if there are already ways and solutions for companies to become more sustainable, then why not doing it? Large companies are not the only ones that generate pollution. We, as a, as a population and individually, can pollute too. We live in an, extremely, in an extremely consumerist society and have this habit that is not that 
and we have this habit so in our lives that it will be very difficult for it to change. Not impossible, but very difficult. We are so comfortable with our lifestyle that are not willing to, to change slight habits or actions. That doesn't really cost us anything. But why don't we do it then? For selfishness and laziness. Selfishness corresponds to large corporations that are not interested on spending money on taking care of the environment and are not interested in anything other than their own profit. And laziness corresponds to us, to population, because we do not want to exchange our comfort for a good in the future. Where do I want to get with all of this? Sustainable, the path for sustainability will be possible only if we put, out, put our laziness aside and begin to change and and begin to change our habits. Only is it will be possible if we demand that companies stop with their enormous selfishness and begin to implement and respect the uh, environmental policies. Or if not, for the government to make stricter laws. But especially, you have to start with yourself because that's how change begins. I invite you, no. I better challenge you to I better challenge you to follow at least four of the following measures to reduce our carbon footprint. Separate trash. Close the sink tap. Turn off the lights that we're not that are not being used. Unplug the cables that are not being occupied. Put a bucket under the shower so that water and cold water wouldn't be waste. Reuse materials, and do not throw away your batteries. Small actions generate big changes, and small changes can take us a step forward to sustainability. Thank you.